Welcome back to another video guys. In this episode we stock up on supplies in Esperance and then we head down to the beautiful Cape Le Grand National Park for a couple of nights. We find a beautiful little eco park to stay at the first night before heading down to the popular Lucky Bay campsite. G'day, I'm Rocky, and this is Steph, and we're just another couple of Aussie dreamers, travelling with a pair of rugrats. Hello, my name's Ivy. And this is Lane. Come with us on a 22,000 kilometre epic adventure, as we escape a cold winter for beautiful sunny destinations. We meet new lifelong friends and see Australia's beauty through our very own lens. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Yeah. Oh. Keep going. You be careful. Yay! <laughs> this is uh, two weeks traveling across the Nullarbor. This is a junk you get. After topping up with supplies in Esperance, we cruise out to a beautiful little place called Dunn's Eco Park. Dunn's Eco Park is on a private cattle farm of which the owners have always prioritised in protecting surrounding bushlands and wetlands. The farm was partially planted with blue gums in 1996 and they were harvested in 2019. Selected trees were preserved to house the Eco Park and protect the surrounding bushlands. This place comes highly recommended from us if you're looking for something a little different. Please note that it is closed in the winter months. Hey! Huh? Having a good time? She, she loves, she loves you it. love being on camera, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> oh. You love it? I love it. Absolutely beautiful. Who's that? We'll go over there. Where's Sissy? She's over there. Sissy's over here. Come on. Come see Sissy. She's poking. Oh, what are you doing, Ivy? Painting. Painting, oh. really? <laughs> they gave me it. Oh, nice. Helping. Oh, yeah. That's pretty cool. Watercolors. Daddy used to do that too. Oh, what did you call him? Teddy. 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 We're just up a bit early, me and Diddley. We're just, uh, the girls reckon it's about, what, what are they trying 40 to say? Days. 40 k's down to the, um, down to the water, but Diddley's got the Hema here. It's a pretty good GPS system. We're just following this bush track down now, and, um, just check out the beach anyway. What's it called? Dunn's Beach. Yeah, Dunn's, Dunn's Rocks Road we're on. Dunn's oh, Rocks yeah. Road we're on. It's down at Dunn's Rocks and then onto the beach there. Going for a burn in the cruiser. It's friggin' handles this road like it's a freeway. Unreal. Rossiter Bay, 
Just Diddly's just working out where we're gonna go because you can go two ways. Just working out one of the best beach spots. Should just chuck the drone up. <laughs> Only got about 70% on that batch, oh, 60%. So I want to wait till we get down there. Just because we were a bit late, we were a bit unsure of where to go. That's why we stayed back in the eco park. But um, you can easily get a van down here. This is a sick spot. Easily. There could be people camping here today. Oh, look at those dunes over there, it's sick. It is rock hard down here. What beach is this one? It's called um, Oyster Bay or something. You could ease, this is harder than Palooza. Oh, this is the Dundrock Beach Camp. Wow. And then the other one will go across and have a look at it. Not Oyster, a single person here. Oyster Bay. I don't know about the tides though. It looks like the tides have come up. Look, see there? Well, they have, obviously. Not tonight, not last night. So you be careful of the tides, but yeah. Pretty easy track to get down. From Rossi to Bay, you can head south of Dunn's Rocks to Dunn's Beach. Still in two wheel drive. <laughs> <laughs> That's your second stall, isn't it? Oh, I'm ever on the camera. <laughs> there we go. Bum, bum, bum. Send him. This is a sick beach, man. Can't tell me there wouldn't be salmon line along there. It's salmon salmon season right now, eh? Yeah. All the salmon are on the run all along the south coast here, guys. So, and that's right from all the way through March, I April, May. Here. Yeah, let's just cast here. <laughs> you got to get out a bit further, please. <laughs> He's getting dressed in his... He didn't really plan for this. <laughs> he had to take his pants off because he didn't want to get wet. We didn't bring a towel or anything silly, so... I'm trying to get out over the bombings out the back there. So... A bit cold? No, oh, it's nice. We had a towel up here, didn't <laughs> Check this out for a launch pad. <laughs> Heat's good. Perfect, straight off the top of the cruiser. The tyres are still rock hard. <laughs> I'm in my <me> undies. <laughs> Just getting the drone up here. After a pretty dismal fishing effort, we cruise back to camp, pack up, ready for Lucky Bay. Dunn's Eco Park, awesome. Eco-friendly toilets, eco-friendly kitchen, eco-friendly everything. Good find, Dal. Steph made our Lucky Bay booking two months prior to our visit and still only managed to get one night. So what's the go, Steph? You've got... So we've bought an annual um, WA National Parks um, pass to enable us to enter into national parks. Otherwise, you're paying $15 per vehicle um, each time. So, but the pass cost me. Uh, There's a lot of national parks in WA, so it's well worth the spend. We calculated it. It costs us $120 for a year pass. Yeah. But for us, yeah. Morning. Uh, 20k. Well, thanks. How are you? Um, this is our first time entering a WA park. We have an annual pass, so I'm guessing you need that. Yeah, I do. But you also should have been informed that 
Carmen. Not bad. She's a good driver. <laughs> Can't take that away from her. How yeah, good this spot? Beach right there. Take her straight down onto the beach, so pretty deadly. Just cruising down the little spot called Thistle Cove. Graham and the kids are up here. Bo and Jim are back there, so I'm gonna check this out and then we're gonna go to Hellfire Bay, which is the next one and then to uh, La Grand Beach. So three beaches, we're just gonna check them all out. The girls are back and mum are back resting. Steph's doing some work. So I uh, uh, might as well go and do the, do the touristy thing. Have a look about. I just can't believe these rock formations like this close to the water. It's just so cool, all the granite formations. It's amazing. Oh, it is a beautiful little cove here. It's really nice. Look at it up there. There the kids. Got the handheld here, so I'll get a couple of stills. It's time for me to go. Burn on bridge. All I know. I got lost along the way. Fell between the phone. Diddley and I cruise down to the beach to watch the sunset and have ourselves a coldie. So long, farewell, bye bye. Let's set a toast for those lost old eyes. And my crooked little heart that seems so rebellious is falling apart. Right. the uh, camp a little bit more windproof so it's got whoa 
So we got roast pork in tonight, and with because there's three of us, if you're with other people, all cook one thing each, and then just make it a smorgasbord. It's the best way. Um, right, bit of cleaning up, and then we'll have some dinner, and got a heap of cool spots to go and photograph in the morning when the wind's down. So that's the plan. We wake up early to an absolute cracking morning. Big swell with a bit of mood about it. So it's six o'clock in the morning and these two have been up for an hour. Still running on South Australian time, we can't seem to change them. So Steph and I are up and we're going to do something. <laughs> Oh, I just got a sick shot. I've been trying to get it. So there's some pretty big swell today and see how the light's just hitting that granite on the other side. I don't know, just created a cool layer then of the um, a big wave break underneath the glow of the rock plus all those moody clouds in the background. I reckon it'll be a sick edit. Some banging, banging big waves coming through. Yeah, keep going through to the other side. Straight, no, Ivy, go through there. So I've got one little Tommy. They're only small fish, but they're beautiful eating when they're fresh. So, and there's schools of them everywhere. The kids and Steph went back and I've gone to some smaller rods because that big rod I had wasn't ideal. It, now the lure I had was too big. So a little fella on. It's pretty safe here, the waves are breaking either side and they don't touch the top of this little rock pile. So you can just cast straight off, right at the end of Lucky Bay Beach and on the other end of the cove. Woo. Good little right hander. Only real short rides here. Oh, look at this left hander on this side. But it, it breaks pretty hard in the middle closes out a bit so not the best for surfing but plus there's sharks everywhere Woo. that's a bit better one heaps of little ones out there that's that's a, that's a bit better eating fella Lucky there's no size limit on these little blokes. <laughs> there we go. I've got about 10 or so, but they're all real small. There's no size limit. And even those two I just filleted were, oh, that's about regular size, but barely a feed on them. Anyway, four little fillets there. Chuck them up with some bacon and eggs on toast. It'll be all right. Hello to Lucky Bay. One night's all we got, so anyway, the wind's picking up, so we cruise back into town and get out of this weather. Do some washing, eh, Dale? Lots of washing <laughs> and freaking civilization. I need power to mop, I need vacuum, I need laptop, I need shampoo and conditioner. I don't need nothing. I need a dong on the head, that's about it. I'm on Esperance. Woo. In the next episode, we head back to Esperance for four days of jam-packed fun. Hey! <laughs> we meet back up with our new friends from SA, discover more amazing beaches, plus beach fishing. We check out what the town of Esperance has on offer, and we also celebrate my birthday party. Cheers for watching, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one.